Good afternoon, everyone. Excuse the bad-ish quality. It's not your phone. It is the poor lighting in this room. And it's also because I'm using photo booth. Again, which you does not have the best quality. But anyway, the most important part is the audio. So I hope you're doing well. Earlier, actually yesterday, I was feeling pretty overwhelmed. And I know my problems are not, quote, unquote bad or they're not that bad but I know my feelings are valid and it's always more about how you feel than what you have. I just got overwhelmed and to some people like from other people's perspectives it's probably like not that bad but I do not want to invalidate my feelings and because if I do, then how can I, if I don't address the issue, then how can I move forward? It might be something small to other people. It might not be a big deal to other people, but it means something to me and to be more specific and to give you more context on what I'm talking about. It was packing anxiety. I'm not really sure if that's the, that's the correct term. And driving anxiety and other things on top of that. So for me, packing, I know how to pack. I know what to pack. It's not the action itself that takes forever. It's the decision making that takes five ever. It's like, should I bring this? Should I bring that? Should I not bring that? What if I need it just in case? That kind of thing. And I know what I need and what I don't need, but I'm always like a just in case sort of person. So I'm just learning to let go. Actually, I've been learning to let go, but I've always had this issue with packing for it, for me taking a while to pack because normally I need a day to myself to just pack or like if I'm working then multiple evenings to pack for myself or the mental state that I'm in, if that makes any sense. But that wasn't the only issue. The only the other issue was driving because since I also needed to drive a lot, that just kind of added to me being overwhelmed. And then there were just other things on top of that. And the fact that I'm packing means I'm going on a trip. And people might think like, oh, I mean, to me <laughs> and maybe to other people. And packing, I try, but it's like, it's stressful. For me but it's a good kind of stress which is why some people might think my problems are not that bad but I don't want to invalidate or discount my feelings. I feel a lot better now because you know when things are packed things are good to go. However I want to lessen me feeling overwhelmed. I want to not be as overwhelmed but the thing is because of the pandemic I don't really pack all that often and for any change it's stressful oh okay I, I'll, I'll tell you this but I was going to make more videos on this but right now I have a new job I'm not subbing I'm working in the office and I'll do a video on that but I want to do more of my subbing experience first and I want to tell people about the teaching credential program but how that, that relates is that transition from subbing, which is what I was super comfortable with, to working in the office was stressful at first. It's that transition. And that transition is, I think, the toughest part. The toughest part is definitely like the onboarding process. And it's stressful. And props to people who are able to overcome this stress because it's very hard for me. So I think it was more like, anxiety or stress from packing, anxiety or stress from potentially having to drive a lot. And that sort of stuff and other things just going on in my head. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that whatever you're going through right now, no matter how small the problem it may seem to other people, your feelings are valid and you'll be okay. You'll definitely be okay. I want you to know that your feelings are valid and you can work through it 
if it's an issue to you, then it's an issue no matter how other people perceive it. So just know that you'll be okay and take your time. Do something that relaxes you. When you feel overwhelmed, take a break. Take a small break. Breathe and then get back to it if needed. Take a break from whatever is overwhelming you and do something else. Remember that how you feel is more important than what you have and your feelings are valid and it's okay to not be okay. Okay, thank you so much for listening to this unscripted video and I hope you have an amazing day. Happy almost 2022. If it ends up being uploaded in, 22, in 2022, then happy 2022. Either way, happy new year or happy almost new year. Have a good one.